Hello there, and welcome to this ASMR feast that we have before us today. And today, I didn't order a single thing for tonight's ASMR feast. We've done KFC, we've done McDonald's, we've done Burger King, we've done Pizza, we've done Subway. We've ASMR'd the lot out of the big chain ones, but we were thinking, and this is my wife and I, not my other alternative personality. But my wife said, hey Fred, why don't I order you food today? And I'm going to order you something that you've never had before in your life. And I said, hmm, that does sound interesting. But make sure it's not cheese. And that was it. So, before us today, we have a Taco Bell, which I can quite easily say that I've never been in a Taco Bell in my life. I really... Uh, right, you're gonna think, Fred, what the hell right now? But I've never had a taco in my life. I'm probably not even saying it right. Um, or a burrito. And I'm not quite sure which is which, but this is new territory. New tingles for me anyway. And new sort of eating. Just the one thing here is, is that there's no cheese. And that's it. And my initial impression for what we have here with the crunchy crisps. We have spicy chips, we have wraps. Fred, we assume that this is a burrito. I could be wrong, so apologies if I am, but I think that's a burrito. Uh, my food tastes are rather plain. We have chicken tenders, which look absolutely delightful. And they taste pretty delightful as well. We have like these giant crisps. Once again, Fred does not know, but I think that's in a burrito style. And then we have more chips, and then some nachos there as well. I'm pretty sure nachos are made of cheese or has some sort of cheese in there, so we'll see about you. I'm not quite sure of that. But just to check, we have the receipt here to make sure that I got everything right. Crunchy ta taco. Uh, this is Crunchy Taco Supreme. Marvelous. Fire crispy chicken tenders. Naked chicken taco. Oh, this would be it. That's a taco then. All right. And then seasoned nachos here. Soft taco. Are they these ones? And then spicy chicken craving burrito. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I just... I don't have a clue. <laughs> But one thing is sure, is that we're probably going to need some ketchup sauce. The sauce that did come with it, of course, is like cheese and that sort of cream and things, which is a big no for me. Just give me that good ketchup stuff. And lo and behold, so we're just going to use this as, quietly, as a little sauce pot, which I think we're just put probably here, actually. So we don't make a absolute massive mess of things in front of the chancellor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I did look up the ingredients just to triple check that there wasn't any cheese in there. So I could quite happily say. That they're cheeseless, I think. It tastes plain. However, Fred cannot be sure with that one. <laughs> so these are cinnamon as well as I'm not entirely sure if this is meant to be dessert first, but they've been eyeing me since we've sat here, so. Hmm. Well, they're really good. This is literally everything which my wife ordered. And so far, you did good. I've just got to make sure that there's not going to be any uh, surprises in there. So, what is a taco or burrito? I think it's a taco. Could be wrong. But it's a chicken taco, so I assume this is just a chicken. Yeah. 
and with lettuce in it. Never had anything like this before. And just chicken flopped it over and used that as the um, as the bread bun. So this is pretty awesome. We give it a tongue in there as well, some sauce. Is so good. One of the things when I do an eating video, I tend to try not to eat throughout the day, so it's evening time. And once you go beyond the I'm gonna faint stage, it's sweet sailing from there until it arrives. I mean, I've eaten some fruit today. Such a long time since I'm, I'm sort of me in an ASMR video. The food ones are always a good opportunity to catch up and sort of be myself amongst all the characters and things and all the busy things which have been going on. And I've kind of got a little bit. bring forth more new characters and things and testing out new ones so I hope you've been enjoying those ASMR videos also I've been venturing over in the shorts world as well I sort of doing a sort of Fred shorts on there which I've started doing it's a weird like filming thing to like film Z amount like two minutes to then edit it into one and even then it's just like cutting it edit cut get shorter smaller and it's just a and, done. and I suppose it's like ultra fast but it's kind of weird to do I film an ASMR video which is so short when the ASMR is like long it's quite fun quite interesting small eating videos for like the sounds the triggers and things but I cannot help but feel like that we're currently gone out for dinner and I like eating all the time anyway and going out and um, eating whatever and, and whenever I can eat I'm happy as long as I've got food I'm happy then this is kind of that same experience as like we just get to chill together eat together that's how I sort of see it we've gone out somewhere I don't know where it is let me know where we've gone. In fact, if 
right down below where we're going to eat and then that's where we'll go in my next obviously it's green screen but my next eating ASMR video and we'll make sure it's there like whatever comes to your mind think about it They taste amazing. I'm gonna to have to learn how to make these. These are very, very satisfying. Well, so far, Taco Bell, you've got yourself a new customer. So, right, that plain. So we have plain bits of chicken with lettuce, like it's charcoal chicken, chicken or something. this sort of thing before. This is really good. One of the things, like, with the subway, I like the idea of getting, you know, big one foot sandwich or something bigger but then when it comes to it you filled it up with all these things take one bite it's everywhere and I learned the hard way when I went to the cinema one time I don't know what movie it was but it was kind of ruined by this subway this massive one which I bought and it just went everywhere and I couldn't see a thing and I was so hungry and I'm sort of unapproachable when I get to that five o'clock in the afternoon stage and if I haven't eaten from four onwards then as in started to snack for dinner then I get it. it's just my whole being transforms it's it's an inexplainable thing Once you've eaten the chicken in there, or if it hasn't fallen out anywhere, everywhere, then I suppose that becomes a bit plain, but then I haven't got sauce on it, so. said even when it's not a KFC video but their potato skin fries suck so much I miss the old KFC chips but their chicken has always been at sort of the top McDonald's has its very distinct distinct chicken taste and like it when you have the fillets which I know you don't have in France because when I went to Disneyland last year I think and I had a chicken and McDonald's and they don't do slags it's it's um chicken nuggets 
lot of more compressed chicken but when you have the selects they kind of look like this but sometimes they can be a bit squarey if that makes sense last year did one I can't remember maybe a year before it's pretty bad because those who might remember my channel Night Adventures it's still there my vlogging channel I've got about six, eight probably six videos where I've gone to places in the world and vlogged it but never quite got round to doing it and I think that's from 2019 is the first one that was in Tenerife since then I've done France done Italy uh, Switzerland uh, where else uh, holidays in England obviously um, Greece yeah mm, yeah I think destination wise that's it but I'll stop on I should really put some on there that'd be cool but anyway obviously like traveling as a family now traveling is a bit different when you have the young legs and do you think if you got lots to take when you're traveling then double it double it again and then think about everything you need and then that's your traveling you kind of get to see things but you don't but I digress completely what's that got to do with McDonald's chicken is that this chicken actually is nice filleted chicken and I think I prefer this more than McDonald's more than Burger King KFC is their fillets like the, the crispy skin but sometimes it's really not cooked enough on the fillets therefore Taco Bell chicken I think I prefer it I suppose to be sure but well come on something different and new I mean obviously I've had wraps before um, so this would be the burrito so two of these don't blame your fruit Fred and two of these I think we have this one this was pretty good adventures okay well done
natural. I think the chicken inside here is good, but it's it's very similar to Subway. But that's what gives this the flavour. But I think it tastes a bit plain. But then these probably come with cheese and sour things and what have you. So like creamy sauces, which just like my big no. My camera's saying 30 minutes recording, but that, that was not 30 minutes, surely not. and chicken so I applaud my wife for getting me something exactly which I would eat proper and that's very good because it is something I'd eat but I feel like it needs to be a bit more adventurous in that maybe a little bit more unhealthy obviously I've had wraps many a times but I'm not sure if this is called would this be called a burrito then I don't know Fred, you are not cultured enough. <laughs> okay, let's whack that in there. Okay. I mean, all the ingredients are in here. God, I would like a nice fizzy drink right now. But that's the trick. When I've done the previous ones, and if I get a KFC, and then it's the fizz which fills you up. And then it sort of sits there whilst all your food's going down. It's not a great mix. sort of a different flavoured chicken like plain chicken in there but it's not my favourite seen any in England in the UK but probably in the US if so that would be pretty awesome this chicken is a good snack lunch chicken lovely
seem to have like just a collection of um, leftover food here. So cinnamon swirls. <laughs> the only thing about doing a less of my eating video I mean I suppose it's because I only make it this way but it gets messy possibly somewhat undignified but it is good to feast on some food but I assure you in restaurants or something it's all knife and forks and napkins and slowish eating. seeking for the rides I just appreciate an environment that's why I'm really hoping one day one day there'll be a tattooing or something and then you'll probably see me there you'll be like it's Fred again what's he doing here in the cantina Just 
just um, yeah. I swear there was something cheese in there I'm paranoid today because I I'm not in control of it <laughs> Sorry. These nachos, I swear there's cheese in them. I've looked in the ingredients and said there wasn't, but they look like cheese, so I'm not looking at them. Putting me off my food. what's in this wrap so I'm tasting a gherkin and wrap and one assumes that there's chicken in there as well things are. There's a bit of a kick to it. I think it's chili. A green chili. Can you this other thing? I think it is. suppressing those cheddars at the moment. I don't think they the old chillers, I swear chillers are a lot spicier. I mean it's still in my mouth.
Let's got that chicken in there again. Yeah, the same that was in there, in the burrito. We assume it's a burrito. In this thing. It's like this sauce on the chicken. It's not like barbecue. Not char grilled, but it's it's like a dull powdery taste like it doesn't have a kick to it. But that's it. It's better on its own together collectively, but all together on the wrap. The chicken is too it's too plain for me. Like if it was plain chicken it's fine. But because it's with a wrap, it's just like a tint of flavour and I don't like it. Like when it's it's like a weak squash or something. <laughs> you might as well just drink the water. actually <laughs> but if we haven't five guys we're going for you but the chips in five guys they're like heavily seasoned and they're chucking even more in the bag but these are nice nice um, sort of dusted they're good like something I had when I was younger, I don't know what. That's good. Come on baby. I know you've been staring at me the whole time. So eat me. It's actually crispy, like if this was McDonald's, it wouldn't have lasted this long, the crispiness. It has to be like straight away. If this is KFC, then if it's not cooked enough, it won't be crispy to begin with. It would just be slightly chewy. So you're really trying to get those sounds. Because we, of course, play with our food when we do this.
his wife, chicken, tenders there. I feel like I've eaten quite a lot now. One of the things which always thought would surprise me when I stopped training 2019, end of March. Not that I think about it every single day and, uh, and have the urge to do it every single day and, and just blitz everything again. But not that. But I'm surprised that. My appetite never sort of changed. The only difference is night time, like three o'clock in the morning, and you have that just insatiable thirst for like food and eating. And I had to keep eating things all the time. For me, it was bad things. I never did any of the, um, like, meticulous eating, so to speak. I sort of trained according to what I ate. <laughs> and you should do it the other way. But sort of normal meal sizes and things is still exactly the same. But I've always managed to balance out. Like, the weight still was kind of surprising. I still sort of maintain that that's uh, appetite. Sleep's different. That's for sure. Plus, when you become a parent, your sleep changes anyway. I'm lucky. Uh, well, I suppose I'm very lucky because both my children sleep very, very well. And I suppose you have to if you're an ASMR artist. You know, it has to sort of run in the family. <laughs> but when I go to bed, which as well as do dad stuff, daytime, and do everything I can, and then, and then like, you know, dad and husband do everything. And then sort of evening time, so that's when my day really, like, begins, when I start filming and editing, and it'll go on late, late. And then once I'm sort of done, it's about a half, three, four o'clock in the morning, that's when I go downstairs. If there's nothing in the fridge, nothing in the cupboards, I will circle the kitchen in this zombie sleepy state until I start sort of imagining something is there. I know nothing is there. But I have this thing like, I check the cupboard, nothing in there. I go look at something else. Can't eat that. I can't, like, you know, I'm looking for evening snacks. And then I'll go back to that cupboard thinking, maybe there's something else, but there's nothing suitable. So I'll probably be standing there until I end up getting a bowl of cereal or something, having that, and then sort of fall asleep whilst I'm eating it. Then I go up, and then I get about four to five hours sleep daily, and my body's fine with that, apparently. Whereas training days, I needed my seven hours. Like 100%, if not more, seven, eight hours needed repair and recovery time. That was always like I knew when I didn't have it, and your body would just fatigue like mad. But now it's sort of five hours average. I'm sort of pretty good with that now. It's weird. I thought I'd be really, really full at the moment, but I feel like I'm enjoying my evening out. So. Well, we need a, a verdict, really, on this whole experience feast. And I must say, that was a good idea for my wife. I had no idea what I was getting, I had no idea what I was eating, I hadn't tried most of the things before. I'm going to say, 
for like for a takeaway I'm pleasantly surprised just keep those nachos away I don't think I like nachos So Fred, what did you think about your first Taco Bell? Well, there were a lot of good things in there which I enjoyed. Chicken tenders is a strong contender for me and I really enjoyed those. They were cooked really well. They were really uh, nice and crispy around the edge and they had a good taste to them. So that rifles chicken selects to me. I wasn't a fan of this chicken thing, however one that I had in the in the other burrito things they were nice like the crispy things the chicken in there was really good but then I didn't like the crispy what's it so much I had the burrito thing that folds into them however the chicken one that was pretty cool I haven't heard that before that was pretty great for us and so I thought it was just like a little bit crispy and different but the wraps I could just, like I taste it now, is something which I'm not a massive fan of. Chips are very good, but my all time favourite, and I will go and I will order these separately by themselves from those cinnamon 12 things. They were delicious, and I love them so much. <laughs> so I think that, so I think that concludes our ASMR eating and for today for the Taco Bell it's so great to try something new and to do an eating ASMR video because I'm very um, quite partial or fond of eating ASMR videos and I just find it incredibly relaxing and I've got that thing where I enjoy watching people eat which sounds like really strange but I like the enjoyment for them I think you know what uh, I was probably doing there. But yeah, so Fred, would you have this again? I think the bad thing is, is that I've associated this with the cheese too much. I don't know why I've done that. But now I'm full. You can think about things a little bit more logically. And uh, yeah, it was there were some really cool bits in there. But I mean, my wife orders a great selection of stuff. But I think I would tweak it a little bit more uh, to make it a bit more fred. So that'd be a lot more chicken, a lot more of those cinnamon swirls, a lot more chips. And burritos, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a big fan of burritos and nachos and things. I think, I, I don't know how to explain it like I'll eat it. But I think maybe when I'm really hungry, I'll have a wrap or something. But even then, I've never been a massive wrap person. Like I just like big feast foods sort of sort of thing and wraps are kind of lunchy to me, if that makes sense, I don't know. But overall, I'd say it was a very nice takeaway. Uh, there's just probably things for my very particular and meticulous um, taste in food that I wasn't so keen on and a bit too close and similar to that thing, which I'm not a massive fan of. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the tingles and triggers throughout this and uh, you found it relaxing and watching etc and for our next takeaway if you pop all your ideas down below and hopefully there's going to be one that i can get for next time and, and try and uh, just nothing with that nothing with cheese i think that's uh, you're on to a winner there <laughs> but uh, anyway i hope you enjoyed this hope you're nice and relaxed take care of yourself cheerio thanks for coming to uh, 